y'all. I'm Jessie from Seasonal Southern Living in Spanish, and this is mi hermano. Se llama Colby. Like the cheese. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Uh, do, you, do you have the what? What? You asked me a question. Tell me the <laughs> Okay, so I'm at my brother's house in... <laughs> in Texas. You got one, Colby. Ah, he speaks Spanish. Yeah, poquito. Uh, mucho gusto, all. They speak English too. <laughs> the bonitos Texas. <laughs> Bienvenidos a Tejas. Okay, so I had some zucchini the other day and I wanted to try a dish, like a side dish that was a little bit healthier. So we are gonna make a zucchini gratin. I don't know if that's how you say it. I know it's a French word. I don't know if it's gratin. I don't know. Do you know? I do not know. How would you say it? Gratin. Gratin. He says gratin. He gratin. sounds Russian. And I'm like, gratin. No speak it in Dutch. No speak it in Dutch. What? No speak it in what? Dutch. A Dutch. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, we have six zucchini. I'm gonna chop up. I have three and he has three. We're gonna chop those really quickly. We're gonna take off the ends just like that. And then we are going to cut the zucchini in half. And we're gonna cut it in half once more. Just like that. And then we're gonna cut it into we go right down. And we're gonna end up with cubes of zucchini. Simple enough. That's what we are gonna do. And while we are chopping our zucchini, we're gonna have a little bit of conversation, which is what? Conversation? <laughs> yes. So Colby, do you like zucchini? Yes, I love zucchini. How do you like, how do you normally uh, prepare it? I normally saute it, cook it down with some like red onion and okay. butter, and then just add some garlic, salt, and pepper. Gotcha. Sometimes you do slow cook it in the oven. That actually, how you cook it sounds very similar to what we're gonna be doing. These are a little big. You may wanna cut that in half. Shuffle just cause we're going for this. Oh, we dropped him in the bowl. We're going for this size right here. We're gonna put them on a grill pan um, in order to get some color and uh, some good flavor, some smokiness out of them. So just make sure they're all about the same size. I love uh, like eggplant parm and this reminds me of eggplant parm because we're actually gonna put marinara sauce in it. So do you like eggplant parm? I do. These are very quick one word answers. Mi hermano está muy nervioso porque la cámara. Sí. Está bien, mi hermano. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put it in a big glass bowl like this. All of our chunks of zucchini. So I'm gonna let him do that so you guys can see it so I don't have to move the phone again. Whoa. Um, you may wanna. <laughs> Chop those down a little more. Maybe some of your chunks are the size of the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Look, okay. we're gonna we're gonna like take, um, take yeah, we're gonna cut some of these in half. Okay, so we have our six zucchini, half a zucchini per person. All right, we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm not gonna measure the olive oil. I'm just gonna drizzle it on here. We just want to make sure that it's coated. But now we need to add seasonings to our zucchini. Okay, so this is a brand new recipe. I just thought about it the other day, I wanted it, so we're gonna make it and see how it comes out. So I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of onion powder. <laughs> oh man. If you don't know, I missed the bowl and that's why he's laughing. And then we're gonna do half of a tablespoon of garlic powder. So that'll be our seasoning. Um, we are gonna do one teaspoon of salt because we don't want to go insane with the salt and then we can always add more later but we just want to make sure we don't over salt and then would you like to do the pepper? he's gonna do fresh ground black pepper i don't really know a measurement for that just until it looks good and there's 
there's no other way to do it. No other manera. You just gotta get your hands in there. And so we're gonna take the zucchini and all those seasonings and that oil, and we're gonna toss them around like this. That zucchini's looking good. <laughs> I, <laughs> that actually really does look good. Okay, so we have all of our zucchini mixed up in our bowl with all of our seasonings. We, Colby, not we, he is gonna heat up the grill pan. This is his house, his kitchen, his grill pan. I've never used one. So we are gonna get us some color on these zucchini and we're probably gonna have to do it in batches. We're not gonna be able to put all these on at once and then we can layer it in our baking dish. Colby's gonna tell us how to do it. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! This uh, is for those days when you can't get out to the grill, right? right. And you want those grill marks and that exactly. smokiness. We're gonna start out on like a little less than medium because as you, if you cook with cast iron, you know, once it gets hot, it stays hot for quite some time. His, uh, his stove is wackadoodle because I don't burn things. His stove yeah. makes you burn things. It's, temp it's temperamental. You know, it's moody. You gotta know how to work with it. So yeah. All right. So you put that on medium low heat. Is that fair? Yeah. We're gonna wait till it gets really hot, and then we're gonna do a single layer of our zucchini on there. Seriously, look how cute her Teresa, which is Colby's wife, her little measuring spoons. They're copper. They're precious, precioso. All right. So this is screaming hot. Woo! We're gonna put our zucchini on. Do you hear that? And I can already smell, I can already smell the garlic. Mmm. You know what, honestly, if we do a single layer, do we even have to do them with tongs? Nope. We don't. <laughs> we're trying to be fancy, but we're not fancy people. We're just gonna make sure we do them in a single layer like that. But we do it with tongs. And they go ahead and get color on them though, look. Look at that. That looks great. You might want to watch it. Remember, Colby has a moody stove. <laughs> so we're going to take that zucchini up in our baking dish, and that way we're not burying up any extra dishes. Smoking. That's the only thing about these grill pans. I think they're fantastic, but <laughs> it brings the grill in the house. <laughs> as long as you're aware. We may have to give a little extra time for Coley's dinosaur chunks. <laughs> <laughs> he cut his a little bigger. Grande. Grande zucchini. Life's better with a little color. Life is better with a little color. The words of my brother. How long have you lived in Dallas? This will actually be my 16th year. You like it? I do. It gets I'm very doing, hot. Yeah. Because I'm doing a blog. I'm doing a post, a vacation post of our week in Dallas and fun things you can do with the kids. Right. There's a ton of stuff to do out here. There's a lot. We're in the DFW area. So those of you who don't know what that means, that means uh, the Triangle, which is Dallas, Fort Worth, Denton, probably estimated over 7 million people in that area. So. That's a lot of people. All right, we have to show you the color on this zucchini, and it smells divine. Don't you think it smells good? It smells like, good. It smells like garlic. Let me make sure I get that in there. All right, those look pretty good. So we're gonna remove that batch and put the next batch in. Y'all might wanna invest in bigger uh, silicone tongs. Like those are baby, these are baby <laughs> tongs. Let's show them the tongs, show the people the tongs. No, like up here, they don't. I'm sorry. Yeah. The plus up there. They're about like, they're, they're about the tongs. size of a lobster pincha. A lobster pincha. What? You know they're what the size of a lobster pincher? Pincha. These tongs are little. That's all I know. They can only handle like two zucchini at once. <laughs> well. Layer those things. Here we go. I think. I don't think we. No we're going to have to do it in three batches. We don't want to overcrowd. The moment the smoke look, it went right by in the camera. The moment you overcrowd that pan, they start steaming. We don't want steaming zucchini. We want grilled zucchini. We want that. Yeah, the grill pan really is awesome. We're waiting on this to be done. It's time for corny jokes. Oh gosh. 
Here we go. What did the buffalo say to his kid when he left for school? Hmm. I don't know. I'm watching. Bye, son. <laughs> Bye, son. <laughs> you would. We are putting these. It's a gratin. 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 We're going to put them in a shallow baking dish, and I just chose to do it in three separate dishes. I don't want these zucchini to be piled up on each other. I want them to have space to spread out. Just because it's important, because we don't want it to be soggy. We are not baking these. We grilled them. They've got a wonderful flavor, don't you think? Yeah, I don't think they need any salt, because we're going to be adding cheese, Parmesan cheese, which has salt in it, and... Um, and some marinara sauce that's already seasoned, so I'm not adding anymore. What we what we put on that earlier was perfect. It was it was good. Very good. So we're gonna do uh, multiple dishes because we don't want them to we don't want them to be crowded. Everybody wants their space. Truthfully, I don't know how you feel. We we both just tasted these. Truthfully, this to me right here is a good side dish by itself. Very good. Grilled pan, zucchini, garlic, onion, salt, pepper. Olive oil, done. Like I would eat a ton of that. I would put that on salad. So then we are gonna add three fourths of a cup of marinara sauce. I love Newman's on marinara. No, this is not a paid advertisement. He's the best. So I just put a fourth of a cup in each because we have three pans. So I just put a fourth of a cup in each one. And we're just gonna mix this up. For the topping on our gratin, we're going to be using Parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs. And I did Italian style breadcrumbs. So I'm going to take a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese and a third of a cup of breadcrumbs. And keep it right on in there. We're going to mix this up. And we're going to use our fingers. Just like that. We're gonna take our breadcrumb and Parmesan cheese mixture and we're gonna just use it as a topping over our zucchini. Yum. Mm. That looks good. You wanna show the people? Show the people. You wanna tilt it? Yeah, I'm telling him, if you want kids to eat it, you can make up names, just like I told you guys, the egg in a hole, I named them were fried eggs. My kids wouldn't touch them until I told them it was hot lava. They're called lava eggs, and when you poke it, lava runs out. And now they love them. They love lava eggs. So call this pizza something, because it has marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese, and it does taste a lot like pizza. So my son said to trick kids into eating it, you can call it, you can call it pizza bites. I'm not a fan. I think you would call it pizza zucchiniola. I would love to tell you that no zucchini will harm in this video, but that would be true. We just preheated the broiler and you're gonna have to keep an eye on these because you don't want them to burn. All right, we got the, we got the broiler preheated and they're going in. of extra virgin olive oil on the top just to make sure those breadcrumbs had some moisture. Tell me what? You don't need your camera over there. Yeah. You need me to move. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to move. <gasps> oh! So it came out of the oven. We're gonna taste it for you. We're related, so we're gonna eat out the same bowl. Hey, easy. Mmm. Delicious. I Very like good. it. Very good. Very good. What do you taste? The most. I taste the grill. Yeah. I can taste the grill. There's a bit of grill in there. That's a what? <laughs> 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 I did not say so that. So good. I said there was a hit of grill. <laughs> I, 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 I
All right, Teresa is too camera shy to come on, but we're gonna get her on before the end of the week. Whole week, we got one. Oh, look, a hand! There she is! All right, we have one more joke before we go. I would tell him a chemistry joke, but I don't know what his reaction will be. <laughs> Bang!